Good afternoon, my dears. Today we will be solving a couple of exercises or our exercises from the workbook regarding unit three. But before that, we are going to have a brain gym exercise in order to refresh your minds, refresh your brains. And then we will start with our lesson. So please bear with me until I share the YouTube page with you guys. Uh, today's brain gym exercise will be interesting. So please, everybody, exercise with it. Let me see here. Sharing. OK, I believe that every one of you has uh, the page in front of him and her. So let's start exercising. It is kind of hard, but it's fun. So let's start. I would like you to do this exercise. Your right hand of your head. Your left hand around your stomach. Your both hands. Now your both hands. Let's see if you can concentrate and do this exercise. Hard, hard. Now, which hands? Now with, with both hands. All right, thank you guys. So be honest with me, who did it? Teacher, I did it. Okay, how Please. was it? Hard or easy, Yafara? Uh, kind of hard. Yes, it needs a lot of concentration, huh? It's yes. really hard. What about you, Zena? Did very you hard. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> yeah, especially when it comes when you guys need to uh, use your both hands, right? Yes. Yes, OK, that's good. Now let's go to our exercises. Uh, please open your workbooks to page 19. And I'm going to share with you. The lesson for today. Here we go, the workbook. OK, the vocab section number one, exercise number one. But before that, um, we had a discussion last time regarding uh, our exercise, which is choose the odd word, which is exercise A in your student book regarding the uh, number four, which is a trainer, optician, and a dietitian. And we said, okay, the trainer. Uh, he is the person who trains someone and the optician, he, uh, a person who is specialized regarding vision and the dietitian is the person who is specialized regarding uh, the way of uh, 
food or okay regarding your food your uh, nutrition issue okay but here uh i think that you guys weren't satisfied regarding the um the answer which was a trainer so honestly did anyone search for the word train or trainer yes no i believe not okay um let okay let me um explain it for you here when I say, what trainer and please try to talk in english dear okay okay yes here if, if i say trainer okay uh, i will go first to the other words and then i will get back to a trainer when i say an optician he's the person who is specialized in just one thing which is optical issues which is issues regarding your vision okay so he is just specialized in one thing and when i say dietitian is the person who is specialized in nutrition and just in nutrition but when i say a trainer here the difference between this world and the other words the trainer he can train you in anything in sports uh, maybe he is a trainer of english conversation so he can uh, train you in many aspects in life not just in sports so he is not that a uh, trainer here it is in general okay not just for one uh, issue not just for one specialization okay this is the first meaning and there is another meaning for a trainer, all right? If you search for it, trainer means shoes, the kind of shoes that you guys uh, train in or exercise in, all right? So it is a kind of sneakers. Sneakers, it also means shoes. So here it has more than one meaning. But when I say optician or dietitian, it only has just one meaning which is the uh, the person who is specialized in one issue so now are you guys satisfied with the answer yes teacher yes noor yes and everybody else all of yes, you guys teacher. all right yes okay. Teacher. okay that's good so now move to your workbooks and let's start our exercises and but before uh, doing exercise number one let's get introduced to the meanings of the words that we have in here and then we will answer the uh, question so here number one which is examine what do i mean by examine فحص. يتفحص. thank you for bed Yamna, Yamna, which is which is in English, prevent, right? Prevent. Yes, or not allowing someone to do something. Thank you. What about have? Yamtelik. Own. Own. Thank you. Yamtelik. Yes. Lose. It is the opposite of have, right? Yaxar. Yes. You're not having a thing. Okay. What about prescribe? <laughs> yes, but here it is a verb. So, Hona Ash Yusuf, right? Yes, yes. Yes. What about recover? Yata'afa <laughs> or Yatashafa. Yes, treat. <laughs> and what about a twist? Iltiwa. <laughs> Thank you. So, now we know the meaning of our words so let's uh, solve the exercise and number one will be for let's see i want to see hands yeah all right i will start with jessica jessica yes, Salman, are you here dear? yes teacher Go ahead. yes one albert is very unhealthy and needs to and needs to 
I can't hear you, dear. Lose. She, yes, lose. Thank you. Let's see if lose is the right word. Yes, thank you, dear. Number two. Uh, Zena. Vicky. Zena. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Samantha twisted her ankle while she was playing tennis. Twisted. So let's see if it twisted is the correct word. Okay, let me ask you a question, yeah, Zena. Yes. Why did you put it in the past? Because from the meaning of the sentence and the second one is we have while. And yes. after while we have a, a past continuous. So right. we should add the verb to. Verb to, yes. Okay, so here we have how many actions, Zena? A, one long action and the second one is the short action. And what do we call the short action? Uh, the interruption, the interrupted yeah, action. The interrupted action. Thank you, dear. Number three, would you like to do it, yeah, Vicky? Vicky, are you here? Teacher. Yes. I. I may have to. You, you, you may. You may have to an x ray to see if the bone is broken. Yes, to see if the bone is broken. X mean? Oh, you mean examine? Exam. Okay, look at the uh, sentence here, Vicky. Look at the sentence. Do you know the meaning of the word X-ray? Yeah. Okay. احكي لي شو هي؟ الأشعة تبعت X-ray التصوير. Yes. لي صورة الأشعة. تمام. To see if the bone. What is the meaning of the bone? كسر. The bone, the bone. Okay. If it is broken, even no ash, مكسور. So here. أوكي okay. أنا بدي أوكي okay. أعمل إشي أوكي okay. عشان بعد إذا كان مكسور أفحص تريت أوكي okay. تريت معناها يعالج أنا ما بقدر أعالج غير لما أنا أشوف look at the words بس أجاوب أنا uh, who are you? Can you help her? Yes. Uh, you may to have an X-ray to see if the bone is broken. You may have to have an X-ray. Let's check it. So, أنا بدي أمتلك الصورة يا فيكي تمام على أساس أشوف إذا إنه مكسور أسوي examination أسوي treatment in order to recover. تمام يا فيكي did you understand the sentence now? تمام teacher. Thank okay, you. let's see if the word have is the correct one. Yes, it is. Number four. Who would like to do number four? Let me see hands. Yell. Um. مين اللي هلا جاوبني فادي؟ أمس. Okay, let's go to Yazan Genda. Mm, you can, you can forbid some illness with natural uh, remedies. Remedies. Remedies such, uh, such as herbs. Okay, you can what? Forbid. 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 يعني إيش تمنع? Yes. طيب. How about another word? If it fits better, look at the words that we have. Treat. A treat okay why did you choose the treat uh, you are you are right because uh, here with natural remedies such as herbs okay you cannot uh, forbid because you don't know if this kind of herbs okay will make you get well but you can, okay, use it as a treatment, okay, and maybe 
it will treat you and maybe it will not. But OK, you cannot be 100 percent sure that it will forbid and you do not use this kind of uh, uh, treatment. OK, until you are ill already. So now let's see if your answer, which is the second one to treat, is the correct one or not? Yes, it is. So now, did you understand why we chose a treat and not forbid? Yeah, yes, um? yes. Thank you, dear. Who would like to do number five? Let me see hands. Please do not talk. I will. Uh, OK, let me see here. We have the Juan Khuri. Yes, teacher. Yes, number five, please. Maybe it's still uh, from her cold. Even after two weeks, is still uh, recovering. Thank you. She's still recovering. She she's not well, or right? she's still well. She's still recovering. Yes, even after two weeks. Even after two weeks. Thank you. Number six. Uh, number six. Let me see. Here, here, here. We have Yusuf. Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, OK. Um, the doctor decided to prescribe uh, an, uh, antibiotics. Antibiotics for chest uh, infection. Infection, yes. What is the meaning of antibiotics? Do you know? Mudad um, Hayal. Yes, it means mudad hayawi. And what's the meaning of chest infection? Sadr. Al-iltihab bi sadr. Yes, thank you. Yes, that was correct. Number seven, Farah. The law forbids smoking anywhere in the hospital. The law, okay, it's the law, dear, not law. Law, it means something that is under, okay? But here it's the law, okay? Li wal qanun forbids, yes, thank you. Let me see. Smoking anywhere in the hospital. Yes, thank you, dear. And number eight will go to, we will go to Angelina. Yes, miss. Yes. The nurse will examine me today, but I can't start the treatment until next week. Thank you, dear. Yes, that was 100% correct. Do you guys have any question regarding this exercise? Is it fine? Is it understood? Yes, teacher. OK, yes. so all right. So now we'll go to the, our second exercise. And here we have to complete each sentence with the words given. We have two words, OK, from our vocab that we already took and we explained the meaning of every one of them in the previous lesson. Now we have to choose the right word and put it in the uh, right gap. So number one, Noor Lwer. The surgeon Ms. Mice? word. Uh, no. Yes, who said Miss Mice? It's an honor. My initial raise hand. Uh, okay, Mashi. I will let you answer after uh, Noor. Tamam? Yes, okay, good. Yalla, ya Noor. The surgeon was in the ward talking to his patient. Thank you. The one who will answer, I need an explanation. So, you said uh, the surgeon. What is the meaning of surgeon, Yanur, in English? Uh, the doctor who does surgeries. Thank you. And what about the ward? A place in the hospital. Thank you. So let's check if your answer is correct. Yup, dear. Number two, Ya Amr. Yeah, Fresh food is high in uh, vitamins and usually contains, you know, Addictives. No additives. Yes, uh, no additives. Additives. Eh? Yes. Okay. okay. Vitamins, yani, the, yani, the vitamins. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
they are substances that are good for your health, right? Yeah. Addictives. Uh, additives, not addictives. Additives. Additives. Yes. Ah, uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, substance, okay, that are not good for your health, but they are not drugs. Okay, we add them to food in order to uh, give them uh, maybe uh, flavors. Okay. Uh. Okay, Amir. All right. Thank you. Let's go to number three. Who would like to solve number three? Let me see. Ha, yalla, the number. You raise uh. your hand. Yalla, yalla, yalla. Before. Uh, before the operation, I give. Uh, I was given an uh, injection. Thank you. Before the operation, I was given an injection. Thank you. That was 100% correct. What about number four? We'll go to Rimi. Yalla, Rimi. Who said Miss Mais? Miss Anna Vicky, Miss Andy, not sure if I'm going to get it. Okay, okay. Okay, no problem. Uh, Rimi, please. Number four. Uh, the, the, okay. The, the, the opetition. Checked my eyes, then the dietitian gave me an eating plan. Yeah, I know. Because optician is the person who is specialized in optical issues. Dietitian is for what, yeah, um, Rimi? Um, it's like a person who gives you the right diet for your body type. Yeah, I know. Thank you so much, dear. Number five. Let's see number five. Um, Marianne. Marianne Badra? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. After the accident, Toby had a bandage around. After the accident, dear. Accident, Toby had a bandage around his head and had to walk with a crutch. Thank you. What's the meaning of bandage? Uh, Gaza. Bandage? Uh, the mother. Yes, in English, it is a, a band or a piece of the cloth we put around what around the the part of the body which is injured right marianne are you with me dear yes yes and what about the crotch yes in arabic so it's a stick to help us in order to walk if we are injured Okay, dears, ladies and gentlemen, try to make your own meaning from the word, okay? Try to create a meaning from that word. That will help you to gain more vocab, to gain more words in order to improve your English. All right, let's go to number six. And um, Sarah, Sarah Batarse, I see your hand. Yalla, dear. Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, meditation helps to relax the mind while uh, gymna gymnastics. Gymnastics is very good for improving fitness. Yeah, yeah, like. Okay, uh, Sara, what's the meaning of gymnastics? Um, riyadh badaniya. Liyash, tarafi. Which one? What do we call it in Arabic? Jumbas. Oh, okay. Okay, good, dear. Number seven. Let's go to number Who are you? Who are Hello. you? I'm Amr. Amr, Habibi, Halit. Okay, give turns. I will let you uh, again, تمام? but let me see other students. Yalla, when Thanin, where are you guys? Where are you guys? Oh. Aziz, are you here? Uh, Miss Mojood. Okay, why you're not raising your hand? I'm sure. Okay. Uh, the pharmacist couldn't read the doctor's writing on the medication for. Uh, Prescription. Prescription. 
All right. Are you sure this is the right answer? لا هو بتبديل بناتهم يعني. Okay. Why? مس عشان هيك الجملة تزبط. Okay. Can you explain the sentence for me? And in English, please. مس مش عارف. Okay. Thank you, dear. Who can explain it? Ah, Farah, can you explain the sentence for me? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, the seventh one? Yes. The pharmacist couldn't read the doctor's writing uh, on the prescriptions for my medication. Uh, medication, uh, it's like uh, something you use to get uh, recovered from okay. an illness. Yes, so the pharmacist, okay, couldn't read the doctor's medication no he doesn't need to uh read and understand the medication he has to understand what is in the prescription right yes teacher so that's why we put prescription because the writing on the prescription and not on the medication for the prescription thank you dears number eight who would like to do number eight let me see hands here, yes, we'll go again to Rimi. Rimi, are you here, dear? Teacher, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right. Homemade flu works well, but my daughter says that I should have a to protect myself against flu in the future. Okay, teacher, how to read the second word? Vaccination. Okay, my dose, my homemade flu remedy works well, but my daughter says I should have. Hi, is Okay, uh, try to say it. Yalla, vaccination. Vaccination. Yeah, to protect. My self again. What's the meaning of vaccination? Do you know, dear? I uh, know. Teacher, can I tell you? Yes, please. You are taking the vaccine. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is a question for all of you guys. Do we hear this word in these days a lot or not? Yes. Yes, yes where? Teacher. Where? Yes, teacher. Uh, when they talk about the yeah. coronavirus. Uh, yes, in the, uh, yes, yes, regarding the coronavirus, and they are uh, trying to find what? A vaccination. Vaccine? Yes, yes, for, uh, for what? For treatment, right? So, see, we can also talk regarding the um situation that we are having and that we are living okay and we can take our vocab from our lesson right vaccination medication um remedy what else injection what else tell me tell me other vocab prescription Yes, yes, Pre prescription. Yes, all right, thank you, dears. Okay, anyone has any question regarding this exercise or should we move to the, to the last one? All right, uh, if you guys have no questions, we'll go to the third exercise. And also here, we know that, um, meanings of these words so let's start the first one and i'll be for amir uh, yeah go ahead uh, at the gym i prefer walking on the trainer to not to running on the treadmill on Lazim. the treadmill why what is the meaning of a treadmill ya amir uh, it's the machine that uh, you run on it. That's used 
for running يعني عليك thank you يا عامر yes ممتاز alright let's go to the second one and it will be for يوسف and after يوسف I will have فادي يلا yes teacher جامي number two حبيبي you're not following with us um uh, Jamie is studying at home today is because he staying. He has is he staying? staying at is staying at home today because he has uh, a high temperature. A high temperature. Thank you. Number three, Fadi. I said Fadi, right? Thanks. Yeah, uh, she she the uh, she she dropped the tablet on her foot and broke her big toe. She dropped the weights. The weights, yeah. What is the meaning of weights, Fadi? Uh, yes, so it is a material that is so heavy. That's why she broke her big toe. What's the meaning of toe? Zifr. Yes, in your foot. Thank you, yeah, Fadi. Let's go to number four. Let's go to number four. I need new hands. Here, yes, and after the Alam Hanna. Come on, yeah. Diala, are you here, dear? Best thing about uh, Diala, your voice is not clear. Diala, dear. Yes. Um, the best thing. The, yes, the best thing about meat is that it, it, it is high in preservatives. But then how many have protein? All right, so we replace the preservatives with the protein. Why, dear? What is the meaning of preservers? Um, yes, so is it... So, um, is it good for your health or no? No. And what about protein? It's good for the health. Yes. So, and we know that meat is full of protein, not preservatives, right? Yes. Thank you. Let's uh, go to the next one. Fortunately, um, Hannah. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, five, fortunately. 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 Okay. Wasn't too big to swallow. So swallow. Hello. Say it. Say it. Swallow. Swallow. Yes. Swallow. Okay. The answer is. Rotten. Uh, treadmill. Okay. <laughs> Look at me here. Um, a treadmill no, 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 is sorry. the yes. Uh, a treadmill is the wrong word in here. And do you know the meaning of swallow before answering? Do you know the meaning of swallow? No. Okay. Swallow. Uh, who can help him? Ibla. <laughs> yes. So, what is the word that fits in the sentence? Okay, which gives you the meaning that you have to swallow something. Yeah, I'm Hannah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Here we have four more words, which are trainer, wound, tablet, and preservers or uh, preservatives. So which one do you think that you can swallow? Which one do you think in the abtigdar in the tibtalao? Okay, is it is it tablet? the trainer, the person? No. Is it the wound? Tablet? No. Yes, it is the tablet, dear, because it means that it's about medication, right? Oh. Yes. yes. Guys, let me tell you something. You have to understand the sentence in order to answer. And there is a, a proverb in Arabic, okay? It says, فهم السؤال ثلثين الحل. So, if you guys under, 
understand, okay, what is meant by the uh, question, you then can answer easily. Tamam? Let's go to number six. Let me see new hands here. Aha, uh -huh, we have Walid. Yalla, ya Walid. Mm. Yalla, we ahead. should uh, avoid food that have a lot of dis uh, disrespectation in it. Preservatives in it, yeah. yes. Thank you. Walid, what is the meaning of avoid? Avoid. Avoid. إيش معناها؟ هي راعدة الأكل هذا المستحيل. Yes. اللي هو إيش يتجنب. Yes. Thank you يا وليد. Thank you dear. Number seven. Let's go to number seven. Let me see your hands here. Natalie. يلا يا ناتالي. ناتالي dear. Are you here? Yes. Yes, teacher. My trainer advised me to drink more water. Thank you. And not my temperature, right? Right. Okay, what's the meaning of advised? Zay Nasiha, but you know, he advised me. He, to, yes. he told me to drink more water. Yes, he told me to do a good thing, right? Yes. A healthy thing. A healthy thing. Thank you. What about uh, the last one, number eight? Let me see. And mean Eden Mahalena. Light Helena Yazan Walid. Everyone. Okay. So we'll go back now to Laith and Nabir. Would you like to do it again? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the nurse dressed uh, to small a wound with a bandage. Uh-huh. The wound. All right. What's the meaning of wound? Yeah, Laith? Uh stand. All right. So here, look. Everybody, okay, look at the word dressed. Okay, yes, does it mean in here that uh, you are dressing your clothes or what? What, okay, what did it mean in here? Maybe put. Yes, thank you, dear. Who said it? Zena. Zena, yes, the nurse put, okay, the, the, the wound with a a bandage so she um uh, here it comes uh, more as she covered okay the wound with the bandage with the bandage yes thank you do you guys have any question no. regarding the exercise no teacher no. all right so uh, after solving this one, we will be done with our exercises. Please study them again. All right. And if you guys have any question, please ask me um, on education or privately on WhatsApp. Uh, unfortunately, time is almost up for next class. I told you before that we will be having uh, our new grammar lesson. All right. Which is about the simple future, the simple future. Well versus be going to. Well versus be going to. So try to prepare. Okay, I know that you guys have a physics exam, but try to uh, prepare in order to be familiar to what I am going to uh, explain. And now for the meanwhile, uh, I will leave you guys in order to go to your next class. Do you guys have any question? Bye, miss. All right, so um, uh, I 